Hi everybody, how are we doing? Are we all good? I hope so. Um, please excuse lighting, sound, everything on this video. I am currently in a hotel. It is 10 to 1 in the morning and I've just got in and I thought as my makeup is looking rather good still, even though I've just been caught in a sleet storm, I would very quickly do my video update that I've wanted to do. So a little bit of an announcement, a little bit of change information. Um, so my last video I did my get ready with me for the photo shoot. Apologies that there weren't any photographs. Um, I didn't get a chance to film the shoot itself. Um, so because of the type of shoot it was, um, I wanted to spend time, and the photographer wanted to get spend time getting to know me. Um, because it was a boudoir shoot, we wanted to be comfortable with each other. So I'm trying to work out if that's my eyelashes. It is, it's my eyelashes. Um, we wanted to be comfortable with each other. So we chatted for a few hours before we did the shoot, and the shoot went late, and... It was, it was just a, a really long day, so I didn't get to film any of it. Um, and I'm quite glad I didn't, because I want to keep the the photos a surprise. I'm really looking forward to them. Um, and yeah, they're going to be going up on my modelling Instagram. Um, so if you follow me on Instagram under Morrigan Raven, you will also find me under miss.x.raven. I will put it below um, and I will start tagging it in my videos as well. So that's where you'll find my modelling photographs. Um, so there's that. So apologies that I didn't put anything at the end of that video. Um, apologies that this is not going to be a very long video. One, because it's 10 to 1 in the morning and two, because I kind of just want to get out what I want to say and kind of call it a day. <laughs> um, so it's nothing negative. I have been on YouTube now for 14, 15 months nearly. Um, and I think by Christmas day it'll be 15 months. And I've learned a lot. I've learned an awful lot. Um, I have learned that recently putting end cards on your videos means that you suddenly start getting held for copyright in certain things and you can be more seen by YouTube. So I've had two videos go up um, and I can't remember if I did touch on this in my last video, um, but I've had two videos go up where the app that I use has said, yes, you can use you can use this music for editing. And then I've got had with copyright. So I've had to withdraw the music. Um, so I'm going to be very careful with what end cards I put up because I don't want to have to keep changing videos that I've already done or pulling music or whatever. So I have to think about how I'm going to do my music going forward. Um, I've had a bit of a rebrand. If anyone's been nosy on my YouTube channel on a desktop um, or on the app and you've actually gone to my channel, you will have noticed that over the last couple of weeks my purple banner is gone. Um, and I've had a change of heart and I've now brought it in line with my new thumbnails. So it's black, still with the purple, but it's more black. It's more in keeping with what I've been doing. Um, so I'm really proud of that at the moment. It's also got my so other social media links in it and it has my Raven's Rambling podcast bit on it. Um, so there's a bit of change. I've been thinking whether I want to stick with Morrigan Raven, whether I want to change it to something more personal but I'm going to stick with Morrigan Raven so that's not going to change. Um, I do want to keep it completely separate from my personal life um, so yeah I'm kind of happy with that um, but you know my name's Maxie you can call me Raven that's fine I'm quite happy with that. I've actually just been out with a friend who calls me Raven and I kind of like it so I may start introducing myself as Raven I don't know I don't know where this is going at the moment so there's that. Um, but I have found that I've, I've learned a lot, um, over the, certainly the last six months of what I'm happy with on my channel, what I like, where I want to take it. Um, don't worry, I'm not giving it up. I'm not going anywhere. Um, but I have also decided I'm taking a break. Now it's a month. Um, I'm taking a break for December. So this will go up next Sunday, which will be the 4th of December 
and I don't want I don't want the pressure over Christmas so I had a list of videos I was going to film whilst I was off um, for two weeks and I'm like it's great I can get all my December filming done and get all these videos up and I just didn't want to not in that I didn't want to do them I wasn't prepared for them as such so I had an idea of doing corporate goth party looks um I wanted to do kind of Christmas day looks and I wanted to do kind of Christmas accessories and I kind of realized that I don't have much in those categories I can make things up but they would just be more of my normal day wear so even what I'm wearing now if I can take the camera back a little bit you know I've just been out with a lace dress under my favorite cross back dress um and you know this is probably what I'd wear to a work Christmas do so I didn't want to put something out I wasn't happy with and to be quite honest with everything that's been going on I don't feel particularly festive so my Christmas tree's not up I've bought a few presents because I've seen things but I haven't I'm not feeling in the Christmas mood yet so I don't want to do videos through December that are Christmas based when I'm not feeling it because I think if you put out videos where you can tell that the person doing them's not in not got their heart in it I think it's very obvious and I don't want to come across as disingen disingenuine is that the right word you not not genuine let's put it that way um so I want to take December as a break so I've done 15 straight months of YouTube. I've taken a couple of, of weeks off, um, ones where I've been ill and ones where I have had technical difficulties and my videos got wiped. So I've had that. Um, but yeah, kind of what I wanted to do over this period was take a break. Now, any of you that follow me and have done for my chatty videos will know that through the whole of Auntie Felicity's visit I have been so busy I've been working constantly I've done stupid hours my overtime is almost at the point where I could take a year off and no one would notice I'm tired and I don't want to push myself to the point where I get ill um, which I have been known to do um, and I kind of want to just relax take some time for me not you know I'm not having a mental breakdown or anything like that I just feel that if I go through the motions of December I'm not going to give my best on my channel and that's not what I want to do so if I keep looking here I don't know why I know the camera's there so hello I'm looking at you that way but you know me so yeah there's that so I'm going to take a break through December so this video will go up on the 5th, actually, by the time you see it. Um, so I will be off getting my booster jab at that point. Um, no, I won't. No, I won't. Where will I be? Oh, no, I'll be at a tattoo appointment when this goes up. So, yeah, I'm, I'm taking that break through December and I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it so as I don't get lost in YouTube, that I don't lose my way, that I don't, like I said, don't put out videos that I'm not happy with um, and start losing the enjoyment of my content it also gives me a month to recharge think about what i want to do um and gives me a bit more time to get my january filming up together um and also gives me a bit more time to play with my new camera which i still haven't done yet so i'm still filming on my phone at the moment which is good and the editing's good but i would like to get onto my camera um and produce some better quality bits and pieces and some more funky technology stuff I don't know, maybe never, but I've got a camera I want to use anyway. But I need to learn how to use it, what it can do, how it settles into my laptop, how I edit with it, and I need to get to grips with that, so I need a bit of time. Will I be ready for January filming? I don't know, um, but I don't want to put the pressure on myself at the moment for any of that. So I've got, I've had a lot going on for so long, I think it's just that time to go, do you know what, just stop just chill out take a month take a few weeks off come back fresh so I've got 
um, I'll be back to work Monday this week. Um, so I'll have been back away a week by the time this video comes out. Um, I will also be then, I think I'm in two weeks and then I'm off again. Um, so I had holiday booked for Christmas because I decided I wasn't working this Christmas. I've worked too many of them and I'm fed up with working them. So this Christmas I'm off. So I'm actually off from the 20th until the 4th of January. So I'm hoping that during that time, because the Griffin is still working some of it, I can spend a couple of days having not had, had two weeks break and not run myself ragged again because I've only been back at work three weeks. So I won't need so much time to recover. Um, so I can, over Christmas period, you know, that little lull when no one knows the twilight zone that no one knows what to do with. Um, I'm going to do some filming then. And I'm hoping that I will get most of my January filming done. That's the plan. And then I've got a month's worth of films. I don't have to worry about it. What I'm also doing um, in next year is I'm changing my days and times that stuff is coming out. So at the moment it goes out on a Sunday, either 2 o'clock or 12 o'clock, depending on when I've scheduled it for. Um, and what I want to do is change it to a Thursday. So I did put out on my Instagram, um, you know, when would be best. I want to change my time Tuesdays or Thursdays. And I had, I think, 80% of the people that did vote said Thursday and 6pm. So my first 2022 video will be out on January the 6th at 6pm. So 6 6 p.m. on the 6th will be my first video back for next year. So then I'm going what that does for me as a as as helping me is although January will be done I still need to think about filming for February, editing, etc. So rather than because I upload on Sunday, if I'm busy all week, the last thing I want to think about when I come home at 7 8 o'clock at night sometimes is cook a meal film. And because I work full time, I don't have the luxury of being able to film in an evening. If the Griffin's out of band practice, I have been able to. But a lot of the time I'm I just I'm not interested or I don't have time. Um, and when you've done a full day's work and you've maybe come off a 12 hour shift, the last thing you want to do is sit in front of a camera all doled up and talk at people about stuff and feel enthusiastic. So. I've had to leave my filming to a Saturday. Now, with the world starting to open up, I know it has opened up, um, but I think next year things are going to start coming back. Oh, excuse me, I told you it was early hours in the morning. Um, I think things are going to start coming back and some of the events that we used to go to at weekends are going to come back. So what I don't want to do is put the pressure on myself to have to film on a Saturday to have that release on a Sunday so it takes you know you film in you might take you might have 20 20 minutes half an hour prep you've then got to film your video you've then got to edit it which could take forever you've got to upload it you've got you know there's all this sort of stuff it's all the back end of YouTube um and some of the new stuff I've learned is actually taking me a bit longer because I'm still new to it and then you've got all the tags and then you've got end cards and it's just it's a lot to try and fit into, you know, one day, especially if I want to do multiple filmings. So by doing it on a Thursday, I've got the weekend. So if we're busy on the Saturday, I don't have to go, oh, God, I've got to film this week because I've got nothing ready. So I can film over Saturday and Sunday. I give, It gives me that extra bit of time. If I'm not feeling it on the Saturday, I've got Sunday. Um and I think putting it out on Thursday at six is a good compromise because then even if I film it, I've still then got three evenings, two of which the, the Griffin will probably be at band practice so I can sit and edit um, and I can do it without looking rude because I'm trying to watch something with the Griffin and I got an earbud in here doing something on my laptop or my phone listening to editing stuff. So I can give it more concentration, um, which will also help with me learning a little bit. So for me, I think it's a sensible idea. Um, so yeah, so from January, Thursdays at six o'clock, I will be uploading. So my first one will go out on 6pm on the 6th. I am also, 
I have been out and about this weekend um, and I was out and about during the beginning of my time off work and I've recorded she's at it again woman stop with the yawning um I've been recording podcasts so I have I'm still only going to do those monthly um I don't have the time to do them more than monthly at all at the moment um I've still got another four or five ideas for podcasts that are going to happen, so they're not going anywhere. Um, Sorry for the hiatus during the part of this year, but it just got too much. Um, Work, YouTube, charity stuff, no, it just got a lot. So my podcast for this year um, is done. So the last one went out live on... Friday the 26th of November Um, and that is out on Spotify, Amazon Music, Audible, Anchor and somewhere else. I can never remember what the last one is but it's out there, you can listen to it and that's with the wonderful Sophie from Scarlet in Chains Um, and we're talking about um, whether there's actually any gains from losing weight which she's she's done a remarkable job of losing weight um recently through this year for a, just a change in medication and actually the doctor's listening to find out there's actually something wrong with the way she digests food um so she's done a, a fantastic job of of losing like i think it's like five over five stone now um so i wanted to kind of chat to her about well you've lost weight you've gone from plus size to being able to buy normal normal sizing oh god i'm so sorry um you know what what benefits are there have you found any is there still problems so that's quite an interesting podcast um but i've been back with miss jigglepuff who did my body positivity one with me and we have recorded a few um so they will be back sorry to the one with sophie will be on youtube on the 18th of um december so there will be that release and it's going out not the end of december um but it's going out the week before christmas um you know if you if you've got nothing else to listen to while you're baking the christmas dinner then my podcast will be available on youtube um from january bit of a change again so i've had a bit of a rebrand on my podcast um if any of you listen to it, that watch it, have, have seen it on Amazon, you'll have noticed my thumbnails have changed. Um, so everything's now in the black with the purple rather than the purple with the white because I think it looks nicer. So I've redone all my podcast thumbnails, um, kind of rebranded that a little bit. Still the same, it's still Raven's Ramblings, nothing's changed, it's just colour scheme. Um, so that's been done. I have changed my scheduling for my podcasts and I'm actually going to release my because what I've been doing is I've been releasing the podcast on the podcast channels and then I've been releasing it on the last Saturday of the following month on YouTube I actually want to release them all at the same time so they'll go up on YouTube and on the other platforms at the same time so my podcasts are still going to go out at 12 noon but they will be going out on the first Monday of every month. So my first one will be back on January the 3rd, which, yes, I know is a bank holiday, which means you'll be fed up with Christmas by then, fed up with New Year, nothing to do, and you can listen to my podcast. No, I'm joking. You can do what you like. Um, But, yeah, it will be going up on YouTube um, on this exactly the same time as it is live on all the other platforms because i don't want to make you guys wait and i don't want you to have something released that you've already listened to somewhere else so if you do find it easier to listen on youtube the podcast will be on youtube at the same time it's on all the other platforms and that's it so yeah my my time of releasing videos is going to change so thursdays at 6 p.m from january and the first monday of every month um, which will coincide with a couple of bank holidays, which is kind of good, um, for the podcast, which will be on podcast platforms and 
YouTube at the same time. That was my news. That's what I'm doing. And that I'm taking a break through December. So it is now nearly quarter past one in the morning. I'm tired. I need to get these contact lenses out. They're starting to annoy me. I need to get these blooming lashes off, which are very obnoxious, but very pretty. And I can say from my last video where I mentioned these ones, um, that I have actually taken this one off tonight and put it back on twice. So the magnets do work. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen my previous video, then God, what is going on in my hair? If you haven't seen my get ready with me for the photo shoot video, go and have a look because I do talk about these lashes in that in in that in that photo, in that video. So that's it from me. I'm going to sign off. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to wish you a very Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, you know, whatever cool you, whatever it is that you believe in or celebrate at this time of year. Or if you don't celebrate anything this time of year, have a fabulous December. Um, I hope that you get to see loved ones that you haven't seen for a while or maybe haven't been able to visit due to auntie felicity taking over nicking all the chocolate biscuits um i hope that you get to have a fabulous christmas i hope it's better than last year i hope you get to have a safe new year um you know we didn't get many new year celebrations last year because of lockdown um so you know go out party see everybody but be safe and i will catch you all again in the new year um i'm like I said, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still going to be on Instagram. Um, if you don't follow me, please do. Um, then, yeah, my outfit of the days and stuff, my corporate stuff. There will be some Christmas stuff. My Christmas tree pictures will go up, I'm sure, when I finally get it out of the loft. Um, or out of the garage, I should say. So, yeah, just taking a break. Just making sure that I don't burn myself out that I don't push myself too hard and put out videos that I'm just not feeling at the moment. Um, I'd rather wait and put out content that I like and I love. So I've got most, while I think about it, I've got most of January's planned. Um, if you have got any ideas for February onwards, chuck me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you all. I'd love to hear what your Christmas plans are. Chuck me a comment below if you've got any ideas for videos because, you know, you're the guys that watch my channel. So I want to put out content that you enjoy. Um, I'm going to be doing some more home stuff. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be back to buying clothes. So there's going to be hauls next year. Probably not massive ones, um, but there's going to be a couple of hauls. Hopefully the end of January, there'll be a a clothing haul um got my eye on a few pieces thinking in a few weeks you're still around i'm having that one um and i've asked for money this christmas to because all the money i've not spent on clothes i've saved don't want to touch it so i've asked for money this year so as i can go out and there's a few pieces that have come up i've really really got my eye on um mary wyatt i'm coming for that dress i'm coming for that dress girl um, so yeah, I hope you have a great holiday, whatever you're doing, wherever you are in the world, stay safe, be good to each other. And as always.